Hello makeup lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 44 years old and I live here in cloudy Derbyshire, just for a change. And today's video I'm going to be showing you and reviewing and swatching the brand new Book of Shadows Volume 2 by VE Cosmetics. Yeah, now when I got it, it arrived in an amazing box and I just had to save the box to show you because if you haven't bought anything from them, you'll understand why I needed to show you because it's amazing. Look at that for packaging. So V Cosmetics is in England and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free, which yeah, ticks, ticks every box in my book. And it's also, they do uh, really gothic type makeup. Uh, if you're into anything like that, it's, it's the best site to go on to. We do all types of gothic stuff. They do accessories as well and all sorts. And look at that, how beautiful. Uh, the box itself was bubble wrapped and then the contents were bubble wrapped as well. Um, so they're really, really well packaged and beautifully done as well. And in it you get a card and it it's, uh, tells you that they will never test animals. It's just their like promises to their buyers, which is good. And inside, that's the shadows itself. Now this is the volume two. The volume one is still available um, and the, I have seen some YouTube channels actually featuring volume one. I don't actually own that one but I think I'm going to get it. So if you are interested in comparing them then check out some other videos for Book of Shadows volume one. Um, it is smaller, it's thinner because this is, feels like an actual book, it's quite heavy. It's about half the size of that so just to be wary you know that it's not going to be the as big if that makes sense the colors are more or less along the same lines but they seem to be a little bit more darker and grungier where these seem to be a bit more rich okay so beautiful packaging pack packaging packaging so it's the grimoire book of shadows volume two i do know that these are limited edition and i think it's up to 500 I placed my order on day one of them being released and I think I got them within two days which I was absolutely amazed at. Yes I know I live in the UK but sometimes it can take weeks to get things even though it's coming from the same country so I was super impressed with that. So opens up, so it looks like that and on the back your ingredients and it's there's a little quote on here it says as to the sun, as to the earth below, as to the moon and its wondrous glow. I speak the truth this mine hour, I fill these shadows with my power. Balance is my true vocation, fear no shadow or incantation. So there you go. And this is it. So it's quite thick, there's nothing else there, it's just all made to look like a book, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not its true depth, it's only going to be a bit like that, but it's been built up to feel like a book. You get a big mirror, so I'll just put that to one side, and it opens up like this. So if you have seen, I'll open it now, if you have seen the uh, original one, the v Grimoire Book of Shadows Volume 1, you will recognise these colours because they are along the similar lines. Um, but the two palettes together will complement really well. Um, they've organised them how I like organisation in the palettes, you know, the colours. Um, shimmers are all along the top here, which obviously would be the side. I'm holding it this way so you can have a good look without being blinded with the mirror. Um, so shimmers all along there and the rest are mattes and they're all like in colour story. Uh, for my look today, I used all of the greens, so the that for the crease and the lid, that for a bit more of the crease and the outer corner, and that for the lid, and then I used a little bit of the silver just to come up from uh, the inner corner of my eyes. And if you can hear any tapping noises, that's my dogs just coming to the front room to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, so it opens out like that, I just don't want to blind you with the mirror. And that's Jack now having a drink. <laughs> Hi babies! <laughs> so yeah, so this is the Grimoire Book of Shadows Volume 2. So I'm going to be swatching that, but I just want to quickly show you some other items that I have got from uh, V Cosmetics. Because this is the very first item that I got. It's the Grimoire 
uh, the shadow palette and this is the one that's quite similar to the Jeffree Star um, cremated so if you're not a fan of the Jeffree Star and you don't want to buy his products products <laughs> palettes <laughs> then this is uh, a, a, a good um, a good dupe really so oh it's magnetic there you go so you open it up again with a mirror and that's the palette so I'll just show you this really well so just in case you're wanting to get some silvers there we go there is one press glitter that black there's got like glittery bits in but it's it's more pressed in than the other glitters if that made any sense so that's the grimoire that's the first one I got and um, you all know I love my blushes I had to get their blush collection uh, last I think last week I told you it was from a different company but I, I didn't actually realize it was from the cosmetics I thought it was from a different company I think it's because I remembered the witchcraft bit um, so this is their blush palette so this is what I'm wearing today and again a mirror and you get a blush blush brush and look at those for colors this is which one's my favorite that one's my favorite it's a little bit more purpley than the others but you get a really good selection of colors there so it's ten colors and a little blush there we go right oh and my lashes and I've got some lashes from um, Fire Vixen. Really lovely lashes. You know I like my lashes. And this is the Inferno Book of Lashes by Fire Vixen. And it has Disturbed, Ungodly and Murty. Murty. And it's the Volume 1 book. Book of Lashes. And I'll just show you the others. Mine were the Murty ones. Look at those for lashes. I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing those. So yeah, they're quite glasses friendly, um, these ones. To say they're quite long, as you can see, they're not sticking, not sticking yet, but I always just pull them down just a little bit just to keep it away like that. Okay, so I'll get onto my swatches. I've talked enough. <laughs> Let's get to the good stuff. Okay, so... As usual, I've used my shadow insurance beforehand, um, so that's my arms already primed. Okay, so it gives you a, more or less a true account of what it's going to look like on your eyes if you use an eye primer. So what I will be doing is I'll go as it is from that side onwards. There we go. Now there are no names. Oh, they are. Tell a lie. They are our names. So I'll shout out the name as I go on, there we go, and any noise you can hear, it's my two dogs eating in the background. They've been asleep all morning and now as soon as I started filming they decided to join me. Their names are Jack and George, I've got an English Bull Terrier and a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. If you'd like to see what they look like, I've got some of my uh, videos up on my channel. Uh, just look for Jack and George and you'll find them. <laughs> there we go. Right, I'll get back to my makeup. Right. So we're trick and treating today. New t-shirt again. Yeah, I love Sam. Absolutely love Sam. So I'll get in a bit better position for you. So there we go. I think that's that's going to be good. Okay, so I'll start with the first one, and that's the matte black, and it's called Choose. Oh, look at that. These feel really, really good quality. When I was uh, using them, there's just a tiny little bit of kick up in the pan. Nothing to write home about, just just usual. Um, super blendable. Uh, I did it with doing a little bit first and then building up and I was able to do that. And then I also went in on my other eye with a lot and then build it out, build it out, shade it out. So I tried it both ways and both ways worked. Um, like I say, I was super impressed with the other book, um, that Grimoire one, the one that looks like the cremated. Um, I was super impressed with that. So when I saw this was out, I had to get it because they are my colours. Uh, the next one is a grey called Neither. There we go. So these are, are mats. I don't actually need two 
two goes but I always do that just so you can really have a good look at what I'm doing and then the last one is darkness even though it's a beautiful beautiful silver that's what I used inner corners and then just a little bit going up um, from the inner corner to my brow bone because that's something I just like to do I like to brighten my inner eyes really well uh, mainly because of wearing glasses it gives a little bit of focus where I want it to be so that felt beautiful so that's the first row done so I'm moving my arm further and further away from you try and get it that's better so next one is the red section and this is nor n o r there we go that's a really nice burgundy color each one of the um the pans do have a little symbol of VE on them. I did want, I thought it was a little flower at first, um, but it wasn't. <laughs> uh, I think I've only done one on that, haven't I? So I'll do another one. There we go. So far, they all feel more or less the same quality. This, this red one, this is the one I'm looking forward to seeing. Look at that. I was tempted to do red. Oh my, I should have done the red. Wow, look at that. That's just with one sweep, it is actually a red as well. You now reds tend to look a bit more pink. How have they done that? And it's vegan. That's a vegan red. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> very, very well done there. Uh, the next one's another red. Now this is the only row that hasn't got a shimmer. I thought that was a shimmer, but it's not. It's, this is the type of colour red that you normally get. It's a bit more of a pinky red. I don't know if, yeah, you can see the difference there, can't you? So I'll go over again. See what I mean, how buildable they are. That's why I always like to do two coats, so it gives you a better idea. So the middle row now, oh, sorry, that was called Invite, and that nice red one's called Light. This next one is like the purpley row and it's called Balance. So that's like um, more of a charcoal y colour, for want of a better word. Let's have a look. I wouldn't say it's purple, it's a bit more along the lines of navy black. And this one is create there we go this is more purpley there we go and then the last one is the shimmer that's a shimmery purple I'm just wiping my hands that's nice look at that that is beautiful I'm so impressed with how these swatching like I say I don't need two goes at it I really don't so the next row is like the what I call the blue row and first one is love now that one is very similar to that one there but again one, one sweep And then the one after that one is called Unconditionally. Oh, that's pretty. That's a, a pretty navy blue, that one. Now, it didn't pick up much there. That's, that was my doing, not the shadow. There we go. I'll just wipe my finger. And then the last one on that row is a shimmer. And it's a blue shimmer. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. It was actually this blue shimmer that caught my eye. Um, that tempted me to get it. And so we're on the last row now. So we've got the greens, which is what I'm wearing. So it's the dark green first, and that's called Trust. 
lovely f um, like forest green. And then the next one is called Your. There we go, that's beautiful green, I love that green. And then the last one is going to go on the moon. I didn't have um, a swatch with the right amount. I had either got too many or not enough. So we had to use one of my uh, little moons. So this very last one is a, a shimmer and it's called Intuition. Oh, and, that, and that's beautiful. I love this shimmer. And that's with one. That's with two. Beautiful. So I'm just going to wipe my hands really quick. So I'll just pop you on pause, wash my hands, and then we'll take the swatch off. Okay, clean hands. <laughs> so let me get ready. Get in a bit better position for you. That, that, that bit's about right. There we are. So, wow. Yeah, I can't remember if I said or not, but this um, swatch that I've used is, of course, from Swatch Perfect UK. It's the only brand of swatches that I use because, in my eyes, they're the best ones. They've got such an amazing selection. Okay. Ready for the uh, moon? Whoa! Look at that. So I'll get really close for you. Well, as best as I can do. Look at those colours. Absolutely beautiful. Now, it it felt really good quality. There is nothing negative that I can say about this at all, because they are absolutely beautiful colours. They are my colours, and um, if you're into the goth scene as well, they're certainly goth colours. Um, yeah, beautiful. I highly recommend it, and it is limited edition. Um, so I think I bought it for £25, uh, it was like on a special price, I think it might be £30, but it is very good value for money, for the colours you're getting, 15 shades, they are vegan, cruelty free and they're based in the UK and if you're not keen on these, have a look at, they have got a lot of palettes out there, they've got some beautiful palettes, uh, there, there's quite a few that I want to try as well. Um, I'm not going to swatch the uh, this one for you because I know you can get that already on YouTube to have a look at because it has been out quite a while. This one I would say has only been out about a week, if that. Um, so that's why I wanted to, to give you guys a look at it. I like to do things that are, are new so that you can go out there and go, yeah, I want to buy that one. I've seen how it swatches so I know what it's going to look like. Well, I'm impressed with that and the quality, spot on quality. I cannot say anything bad about it. I love it. I love the packaging. I love that it's, it feels like a book. I love how it opens up. It's so It was so easy to do this look. Um, I like that it's in, in lines of colour. So if you, you do struggle getting your colours together, then it does help you. You go, oh, I want green. So you've got all your three colours to make you look. Um, I love it. I love it. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Um, I love that they're vegan. And I love that they're cruelty free. And I love that they're in the UK. Um, yeah, the blush palette. If you love blushes, get that. They are. You just have to go in really, do a little bit first and build up. Because if you go in a lot, it does a lot because it's super pigmented. They are beautiful. So you should do anyway. Blushes go in a little and then blend it out. But yeah, super beautiful. Uh, I can't can't recommend the company enough. Go and check them out. If you at least check them out, I'll be happy. <laughs> so yeah, VE Cosmetics. Check them out. Have a look at this. Like I say, it's a limited edition, this one. Um, you can still get the other one. It's the more or less the same. I would say I struggled to see much difference. The similar idea, but slightly different. If 
if you look on the site you'll understand what I mean they seem to be more muted uh, whereas you know that bright red that would be a bit more of a burgundy red you know you know where I'm coming from so I'll, st I'll stop babbling on um, so yeah hope you've enjoyed this video I've enjoyed swatching it and I really do love the company so I'm going to be tempted to buy more uh, thank you for Jack and George making an appearance and chomping and eating the food for you <laughs> chomp 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 yeah Jack's laid down now and George is sat at the side of me so yeah if you want to see what they look like check out my other videos there, there's plenty on there just say Jack and George yeah he's looking at me and you'll find them so yeah thank you for watching please like and subscribe and hopefully all being well migraines permitting and work permitting i will see you next monday at two o'clock greenwich mean time and please stay safe we are still in the middle of the pandemic even though it may not feel like it covid still exists so i'll see you next week thank you very much bye